Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. New York Times apologizes to Trump in stunning reversal, demands other media do same. President Trump does not stun easy and he is rarely held speechless but this stunning reversal by his hometown paper The New York Times almost did both. The New York Times, via an op-ed, praised Trump and apologized for spreading the Russian hoax and demanded other media do the same. Wow! From the Federalist Papers, President Donald Trump offered praise to The New York Times, a rare occurrence as it is the newspaper he despises. Do you believe this? The New York Times op-ed, Media and Democrats owe Trump an apology. Well, they got that one right, he said. President Trump was referring to a story written in the Times titled Barr is Right About Everything. Admit you were wrong. The piece was written by Christopher Buzkirk, who is the editor of the American Greatness Journal and an opinion writer for the Times. The American political and media elites that spent the first two years of the Trump administration promoting the Russian collusion hooks have some explaining to do. And not merely explaining, they owe the president an apology, he said. From the New York Times, the American political and media elites that spent the first two years of the Trump administration promoting the Russian collusion hooks have some explaining to do. And not merely explaining, they owe the president an apology. As Attorney General William Barr said on Thursday before releasing the Mueller report, after nearly two years of investigation, thousands of subpoenas, and hundreds of warrants and witness interviews, the special counsel confirmed that the Russian government sponsored efforts to illegally interfere with the 2016 presidential election but did not find that the Trump campaign or other Americans colluded in those schemes. And yet nearly the entire complex of elite media was actively complicit in promoting the biggest political conspiracy theory in American history, that Hillary Clinton lost the election because Donald Trump conspired with Vladimir Putin too. Well, that was always a moving target, but to somehow deprive Mrs. Clinton of victory. What we now know definitively is that Robert Mueller, the special counsel, and a team of very accomplished, mostly Clinton supporting, prosecutors were unable to find evidence of a conspiracy that had been taken as an article of faith by Trump haters. Journalists don't like being called fake news, but too many of them uncritically accepted the Trump Russia narrative, probably because of their strong distaste for Mr. Trump himself. But that lack of objectivity represents a major professional failure, and it's exhibit A and why Mr. Trump's taunt resonates with so many Americans. Gallup polling shows that for 69% of Americans, trust in the media has fallen over the last decade. Among Republicans, it's 94%, for independents, it's 75% and for moderates it's 66 Only among self-identified liberals and progressives does a majority continue to trust the media. They like what they hear. To the public figures who promoted the collusion story, I say, own it. Just admit you were wrong. It won't feel good at first. But when the initial sting passes you will find it liberating. And people will respect you for it. The media and political elites have a lot of work to do if they want to regain the trust of the American people. Confessing a major error that needlessly turned Americans against one another is a good place to start. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.